Hi guys, Andy here. For some time, uh, I've been a Talon user on Twitter, so I was quite excited when I saw there was a Talon for Twitter Plus. Now, the one drawback is that you have to buy, it's like a whole new app base, you have to buy it again. Uh, it cost me £2.54, but I figured it was worth it. I've been using it for a long, long time, um, and I'm very pleased with the uh, the new version of it. It does only run on Lollipop, so that's going to sort of cross out quite a lot of people right off the bat. But if you have Lollipop, it's a very pretty looking Twitter client. So let me show you some of the differences. Now after here we go. Uh, right, let's go to the settings. So UI settings. The theme is actually just a colour. Although there is a dark theme as you can see there. Look, I don't know quite actually let's have a quick look at the dark. Let's go yellow and then go dark theme because I don't know if I've seen the dark theme yet there it is as you would expect I suppose I'm going back to me light theme and brown I don't know why I chose brown but I did uh, we go to night mode I don't think it actually explains what night mode is anyway but I assume it means you don't get bothered by things um, widget theme Let's go for go for the dark theme. In fact, let's have a look at that while we're there. It is. That's the dark theme. Obviously, we can tweet, we can refresh, or we can go into the actual app. Uh, back into the settings. I don't think there's much else in the UI that's uh, different. Pictures below tweet. So this one actually threw me when I first started using it. I'm used to the picture being below whatever the tweet is, but actually the picture is above the tweet and basically what it says when you tap that it's quite nicely it's quite smooth it it slides into place I think what it says is when you've got it around it doesn't do that so I thought okay I'll just get used to reading the tweet seeing the picture above like so so just something to be oh come all the way up just something to be wary of uh, settings I was in, sorry. Sync settings, there's nothing particularly new, I don't think, to see there. Uh, nothing, nothing. Advanced settings, what was there in there? Tweet marker, so nothing nothing too new. Enable emojis. Mute management, main page. Now this one I did like. I'm not sure I've seen this before. So choose swipeable pages. With this version of Talon, you can completely customize your swipeable timelines. You can place up to six. So, we basically say, for example, that's the home base, set that as a default. Then I want uh, I want to I want a list timeline and I want my buddies. Uh, so those are people I actually know, you know. Uh, then I want my mentions. Then uh, direct messages I suppose there we go and I'm happy with that so I'm gonna hit done also while I'm here I can look at this is what shows up in the drawer that comes in from the side I don't really I don't do favorite users actually maybe I should uh, I could take off for example I don't really use discover either so now let me come back out we go to the side discovers no longer there the other things that and also so what do I have next buddies there's my buddies list Go next, there's my mentions. I don't think I'd have to put retweets, which, but then I think retweets is just there if I wanted to see those. Uh, okay. So, the only weird thing, you have to kind of get used to, you have to scroll. Actually, I lose track of which way I'm supposed to scroll to make the. Oh, yeah, I'm in retweets, sorry, I'm not in the actual timelines. Oh, there we go. So when you scroll up, everything vanishes and you're just looking kind of almost full screen, transparent bars top and bottom. So you have to then scroll it back down again to get, let's go all the way to the top, or to get the menu. So, well, I can't now, but if I uh, come back down again, start going up, it all vanishes. So you have to go back down again a bit to get make your menu back. So there you go. I just think it's a very nicely presented app. It's very smooth, very slick. Personally, I think it's worth a £2.54, but... Now you've had a look, uh, you can make the decision yourself. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.